So I bet you didn't see, think you'd see an engine build on the channel anytime soon. Um, yeah, if you've read the title, you know your cars. I bought a Volvo. Not just any old Volvo, a proper red block old Volvo. Um, way, way back at the beginning when I ever started this channel, um, I sort of said, I'm obviously well into my minis. I love my minis, had them for years. They're not gonna ever disappear from the channel. I've got so many projects to do regarding minis, um, not just the restorations, but then modifications, um, improvements, uh, just general changes, maintenance, everything. Minis aren't going. But I did say that if I could achieve it, I would love to, to get my hands on an old Volvo. Um, I mean, the, the big, big, big dream is like an Amazon or a 240 or something like that. Um, but obviously as the title suggests, that's not what I bought. Um, yeah, I've got myself a 940, but it's not any old 940. It's a proper brick, it's a proper turbo. Um, <laughs> absolutely buzzing. <laughs> I, yeah, it, it's been a bit of in a long process to sort of get to this point due to the lockdown, um, but work is underway. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys the car properly yet. I kind of want to leave a bit of a surprise because I can't actually see the car due to the restrictions. Um, however, I managed to get the cylinder head removed um, and left out for me so I can pick it up. The previous owner still got it. Uh, the car still sat there. So yeah, I'm going to stop swinging on my chair as I know I do that a lot. But without you guys, I couldn't have achieved this. And that is my biggest point I want to make with this video in this series. Um, I hope you're going to enjoy it. I'm certainly going to enjoy it. It's going to be engine work to begin with because the car currently isn't running. Um, we've got some body work to do. We've got loads of detailing to do. Um, and then it's a Volvo, so modifications. It's, it's you know, well choice to at the end of the day of a Volvo. Um, but the base of the car is brilliant and I love it. I'm absolutely in love with it. It's been named and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm absolutely in love with it. So um, we'll obviously get onto the actual car and we'll do a proper walk around when we get to that point. But really at the moment, during the lockdown, we're trying to do as much as we possibly can, um, obviously regarding the restrictions. Um, I just want to kind of crack on with stuff. So cylinder head is sat behind me. So the car came off the road uh, because it was overheating, had issues. It's, I don't think it's the first time it's happened. Um, and we kind of got to the point now where it's, it needs, it's either going to need an engine or it's going to need a head. So we're starting with a head. Uh, the head. The block looked great. Pistons look awesome. The car ran fine. And it's running really good boost. Um, a little bit of a snippet of the car is not standard. Um, the block and the general block of it is, but it's got a better exhaust, bigger exhaust, it's got a bigger turbo, um, it's, it's been hopped up a little bit, so to speak, and yeah, it's cool, it's, it's absolutely cool. I'm not going to use any swear words, but it's really cool. Um, the cylinder head itself is still standard as well, so the actual red block, if anyone knows anything about Volvo, there's loads and loads of them on, e on, on eBay for sale, there's loads of them on YouTube, for, like, you can pick up content on, there's loads on Google, there's um, turbo bricks and stuff like that, there's loads and loads and loads of stuff you can see and do about Volvo, and you can see the modifications and the extent people go to, but I love a subtle car, I love a sleeper, um, and that is essentially what I'm going to do, so don't expect a race car, don't expect a drift car guys, that is not what I want, I want a sensible daily car that can make me smile, that makes a tish noise, um, yeah, and just looks like a proper you know, genuine Swedish bit of history and I can't I can't wait to get my hands on it properly. So we're gonna start with the engine. So obviously you've seen the snippet of the car. Um, it's a 940 classic, it's it's awesome. Um, I can't really talk too much about it at the moment because I don't wanna to give too much away, but at the end of the day, it's a tra factory turbo car, um, full black interior, it's got all your heat seats, it's, it's a typical Volvo, it's very solid built, very, very solid. Um, a few lumps and bumps on it, but the car is, is genuinely a really, really nice car. Um, it just needs a bit of love. Um, and we're going to start with the engine, because the point is having a car with no engine. So what I'm going to do in this episode is I'm going to walk you around the head. It's just got to take the cam out of it, and then it's booked in to be pressure tested and skimmed. Uh, we're going to go with that route at the moment, because we might as well start there. Um, new head gasket kit, um, and kind of get it right, and hopefully, Hopefully it was a head gasket failure. The gasket that came off doesn't look too bad, um, but we're thinking of the head skim and stuff like that, that it, it might work itself out. Um, you know, the engine was fine at the end of the day, and it just got too hot. So 
we're going to just see how we get on with this. So if you want to know me, knows I've wanted to get into mechanicals a bit more. I don't really touch engines a lot. I do a lot of body work on this channel, but don't touch engines a lot. Um, and this is one of my chances. I really want to jump at it. It was a car that I wanted to have on the channel. I wanted to, have, I wanted to own for a long, long time. And it means I can get my hands dirty with some oily bits. So let's have a quick look at this and then we'll talk a bit more about the Volvo. So here is your red block cylinder head. Um, little touches like that, I just think are awesome. Uh, it's all stamped up, it's very, very solid. Decent bit of, I, I'm also used to minis and this is worlds apart. So what I have done off camera is I've marked my timing um, so I don't have to lose any of this, but we are gonna whip the cam out. Um, everything's been tapped, bagged and tagged. Um, let me just pull this off, which I'm gonna crinkle paint this, polish this, make it look nice. Um, but we'll rip that off, uh, put it that side, so we're gonna drop it. Um, yeah, so the job is I've got to get the cam out. So I've looked in the Haynes manual, I've looked online, um, and I've asked about, basically there's a sequence to this, obviously you pull it down like tolerances, like you would do any other cylinder head, um, but this is obviously to hold the cam in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out following the sequence. There's a few ways of doing this, I've looked online, there's the sequences in the Haynes manual, or genuinely just start there go there and pull it up so you're not you know there's no tension on anything um and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the cam followers out take this out pack this away so it's nice and clean obviously we're going to regasket everything the whole kit's coming with new gaskets um this is leaking anyway i think the cam seal's leaking that end um so yeah we're going to take this out we're going to check the what's what um and then the rest of it's going to go to the to the, the machine shop so once I've got this out, I'll flip it upside down because obviously I need to get these out anyway, which I'm hoping with a little gentle persuasion of a magnet should pull them out. And I'll show you the condition of the head. It looks fine, but I just think it needs to be skimmed. It needs to be checked over, pressure tested, to make sure this is a good head before we go any further. Um, without further ado, I'm going to set you guys up and we'll whip all this old rubbish off, get this cam off, get that packed away, and yeah, moving forward. It's going to be quite a slow process this due to lockdown. I can't get to the car, um, so it's kind of like working with the previous owner um, to sort of help me get this done so we can get the car moved and get it MOT and stuff like that. So, but yeah, everything seems really nice and smooth. There's no wear on anything. There's no gouging on anything. I'm really impressed with it, considering this car got hot and obviously overheated. When you pull this off, you expect it to be like mayonnaise inside, and it's just not like that. Uh, so I'm genuinely thinking this is just an issue with possibly the gasket, but for safety measures and stuff, we're going to obviously do the work that I've mentioned. So like I mentioned, we've got to get this cam out. So the, the idea is you take the tension off it gradually. Um, so start in here, then I'm going to move a bit there, take it there and bring it up nicely. One thing I need to do is like to say the followers in there, which you can't quite see, there you go, you can see that one, um, they're numbered. So you've got a one, a two, a three, moving on, and it corresponds onto the actual cam bearing. Um, I only learnt this by looking in Haynes manual. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna crack it all off, then we'll lift it all out. But what I've done is I've got eight bags, all labeled out with the numbers, and we're gonna basically keep it all together because these wear independently and you don't want to mix it up putting it back together so we're going to do the best we can to keep this right so set you guys up got the socket out and let's get cracking Right, so you saw there that I basically did a zigzag. So I went there, 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 and came back there, 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 there. That took the tension off and it was really nice. It came up nicely. So what you see me do is all these are, all the bearings now are nice and loose. 
that's your end main one there and this one both of these end ones have a, a seal in as well um well i'm led to believe we're going to find that out in a second so like i said i want to keep all this numbered um they're obviously written on there that's how it's going to go back together but with the followers underneath that's really what we need to keep labeled so what i really want to do now with you guys now we've got you guys on camera um is we're going to pull these off and we're just going to inspect them so what you want to see is you don't want to see any wear or anything like that so there's a line in the center of there but there really isn't there's no gouging or anything i mean wipe the oil off with a nice rag and yeah we're I'm quite happy with that. I mean, I don't know what I'm, I'm properly meant to expect. I'm a complete noob to this, but there's no noticeable markings on there. That all looks really nice on there. Um, it seems to have weared in harmony, which is exactly what you want. The mark you see there, that's where the seal is um, on the end or on the end of the cam there. And yeah, I am, I'm, I'm guessing that's good. So what we'll do is we'll just stick that one back on there for a second. We'll have a look at them all like that. That's beautiful really really nice and smooth no scoring no marking the cam looks lovely um like why is on there really nice i'm hoping this is, this is going to be a full house guys um that one oh it's quite hard to see it's absolutely covered in oil but happy with that so obviously as this is rotating these two will wear in harmony together um, and you don't want to see any pitting or any scoring and i'm quite happy with that I've had a few cams out of minis and stuff like that. And I don't think that's, that's, that's too bad. Um, there's definitely no big pitting. There's no big scoring. There's no nothing I want to go, oh my God, I don't want to touch that again. I think this is all good to go. Um, pretty happy at that. We're going to replace the seals, obviously. Um, but what I'm going to do is before I lift anything out, I would like to get my bags ready, ready to pull the followers out. Um, obviously, this cam goes in one way. So what I'm going to do is, very important, take your photographs of stuff. Um, obviously not all your numbers and stuff like that you've got as reference. But I think that's quite good. I don't think there's anything that I've got to worry about in there. Um, but we'll whip it all off. We'll have a look, because you really want to see if these lobes are worn on here. If you've got big, big indentations on there, then you've got to use. Uh, but yeah, pretty happy with that. Looking underneath them, they don't look like they have, but obviously we need to get that out. One thing guys, when you're building cars, keep all your bags and bits and pieces because we're going to keep all the nuts together um, and then we know what's what. Right guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these off now, take the bearings off out of the way. I'm going to just pop them next to it, uh, just so I, obviously they're numbered, but just so I know and I'm going to photograph all this. So one there, one there. Uh, that one and that one so pretty happy at that gonna lift the cam out now this is gonna be pretty cool see what's see what's occurring so obviously dripping in oil but looking at that quite hard for you guys to see i'm gonna give it a bit of a clean up i think that's pretty good i've taken and seen cams in minis that are absolutely annihilated so yeah there's no pitting or scratching obviously there's wear because this engine's done over 100,000 miles but there's no pitting that unfortunately seal looks really good but i'm going to replace it there's no point doing all this and they're not doing that so we're going to replace that seal but yeah mad how much weight to that as well so pop that back down in there for now and then we're going to get the bags ready and we're going to sort that out but for now i'm going to wrap this up in some clean film to keep it all nice and away from you don't want it rusting or anything like that i'm not going to wipe the oil off it i'm going to leave it covered in oil all right so now it's time to pull these out and get them numbered into the numbered bags um have a look over so after chatting with a good friend of mine um the markings that you can potentially see on both ends of these is actually a factory oil galley so this it's not scoring or anything like that it corresponds onto the cam as well um it's just to help oil filtration through so this is a late a re late red block engine this so according to the owner this has had a genuine volvo history um it's done about 120 to 130 000 miles 
Um, and it's just in really, really good shape and you can tell that from looking at it. So what we're gonna do is just start putting these followers out, put them in the bags, have a look. What we're looking for these is indentations on top of them. Um, but we're looking at it now and having a cheeky little gander, it's not too bad, so let's get stuck into that. Right, so let's have a look. So I've got my bag labeled number one. So we're gonna start with number one being closest to number one, then you obviously got two, but they're, they're only named one, two, three, four on the cam, cam bearings. But if I know one's that end, then we'll follow it along. Seems the most logical way of doing things. So let's crack the bag open. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna quickly wipe them down, but I'm not gonna go mad taking all the oil off, because obviously we don't want any surface rust to happen. But in theory, they do just lift out. Sometimes you need a bit of a magnet, but there we go. So let's have a little wipe down. So what we're looking in the center of there is just some pitting and stuff like that. Um, there will be a wear mark, because obviously it's hitting it, but that doesn't seem too bad at all. There's, you can't feel anything. I mean, I'm running my nail over it. It's baby, baby smooth. So that's number one. So also, I'll, I'll show you when I've got them all out, but inside there is a rubber seal. Um, they've also been replaced at some point in its life as well, because there's no way it's done over 100,000 miles. So what we're going to do is pop that in number one, and I know that's number one. We're going to continue to do this. Right guys, so if you look in here, that's the rubber seal that I was talking about. So that stops um, the, the valve chatter, as it's as it's called. Um, but all in there looks really, really nice. Very, very clean. All this oil still lovely and golden. Um, yeah, really, really happy with that. So like you see, I've pulled the followers out, named, numbered them, put them in the bag. So I've got one working on the way up to this end. Um, I'll know that, I've taken photographs. Um, so yeah, now what I'm gonna do is gonna give it a bit of a clean just so it doesn't go completely covered in oil. But we're gonna send this off now and get it pressure tested and we're gonna have the head skimmed. Uh, just for peace of mind, we know it's gonna be good. Put it back on with some new gaskets. Um, give all this sort of stuff a bit of a clean up. So yeah, really happy with all this. But yeah, progress. And something very, very different. I'm absolutely buzzing with it. Beautiful piece of engineering. Everyone's like, oh, it's just a head. But to me, I love taking things apart. Don't know how to put it back together, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really, really happy with that. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. I'm really curious to see what you guys think. Um, yeah, this is another project for the channel. Um, the plan is to eventually daily drive the car. I've always, always wanted an old Volvo. Um, anyone that knows me personally knows that. If you followed the channel right from the last getting on for a couple of years now um you know that's what i've been working towards uh yeah really happy so that's stripped down everyone's probably like oh you've just taken the cam out bloody blah, blah but for me that's this is all new to me um and i'm really i was really excited getting in, stuck into that taking it apart um the cam is in excellent condition this you can tell this car has been well looked after um so let's get it sent off now to the machine shop see what happens uh, and then hopefully once lockdown is has gone I can get over to the car I can get all the stuff ordered up for it that I need in the meantime um, and start getting things sorted really um, one thing I am going to do so the cam cover which I'll grab for you now so the valve cover or cam cover whatever you want to call it we got some crackle high high temperature paint bought for the Mazda but the stuff's still delayed in Japan for the Mazda um, we can always get some more. I'm sure Frost wouldn't mind hooking us up with some more. So what I'm going to do, is I want to polish this, get the Dremel out, which is something I can do in the meantime, and we're going to do the nice wrinkle, uh, wrinkle or crinkle effect paint, um, just to tidy it up really, actually in mint condition really, but I want to give it a bit more, give it a bit of a tidy up. Um, so that's one, one job that I'll probably document on the channel. But for now, that's me signing out. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. It really helps the videos get recognized. Um, this is a new build. I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's a complete new thing for the channel. It's a new direction. We've got so much diversity now on the channel and I'm really hoping that I can appeal to all of you guys. Um, some people love the restoration, some people love the minis. 
still going to be there. Some people love a bit of engine work and I'm a complete newbie to all this so yeah I've done a gasket on a mini I've done bits and pieces but I really I'm, I'm really excited by this this is I know it's a head gasket on another car I guess but there's a lot more to this there's a turbo to this car there's you know the cooling and sides things look it's, it's gonna go through the whole thing it's gonna be really really good so let me know what you think in the comments like I mentioned if you haven't already please go and check out our sponsors frost um, the link in the description below for that but right now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go look at Swedish metal and get some ideas for once the engines are running and it's all sort of dandy some bots catch you next one guys thank you for watching